Hey everyone, in this lesson we will learn how to draw a circle. So how can I draw a circle? We have different ways. Number one, again, with the quick axis bar, not the quick axis, with the ribbon bar, by clicking on circle like this and put the center for the circle. So the center will be like this here, for example, and then you can extend like this to draw your own circle and click right, right left click on the mouse you will get the circle that's the first method great second method is type c enter you can see c refers to circle so and enter so we have our circle here again we will click like this and we can draw now after clicking on it we can add the radius specify radius of the circle let's say our circle is 10 meters in radius like this so we draw a, a circle with a 10 uh, meter radius now let's say if i would like to draw another circle like this from the same point let's say here for example and let's say i would like to add the diameter diameter of this circle instead or diameter of the circuit instead of radius so i'm going to go down here you can see diameter of the circle click on it and add the uh, diameter of the circle let's say um, diameter is five for example so we draw a circle with a diameter of uh, five uh, five uh, meter okay this one is with a radius of 10 meters okay great now let's see more options uh circle like this and you can see here it says specify center for circle or or so the first method is that i click on center and draw by adding radius or diameter or anyway now the second option is 3p which means three points and two points and 10 10 radius so what the difference between this let's start with uh, this one let's draw a line like this uh, or let's draw a rectangle like this okay and then what does um, circle like this let's say three point what does uh, what does three points mean it means we will draw a circle that passes through three points that passes, uh, passes uh, through three points. Okay, so if I would like a circle that passes through this point, this one, and this one, I will click 3B, like this. Then I would like it to pass from here, and through this, and through this. Now, actually, you can see it is very hard to get the corner. I have to zoom in like this, in order to get the corner precisely right so instead of doing this there is another way uh, the other way is to um, use uh, something which we call the object object snap tool or O snap which is uh, done using F3 on the keyboard or you can see this one O snap you can see F3 so click on it like this look at the options now, if you have a line, it will give you the two end points. Uh, if you have, uh, these are helpful points that help you in electrical design and in drawing or in using these commands. We will see how it will help us right now. So you can see geometric center, okay? It has a click beside it. Now, okay, I have to click on it like this in order to de uh, to activate it okay so we activated the snap you can see snap crosser to do to 2d reference points is on okay so how it will help us we have now the geometric center of any figure so if you can see if you go like this you can see it gives you the geometric uh, figure or the center of the rectangle um, you can also activate all of the snapping tools. For example, if we have a line like this, okay, like this, and skip. And let's, let's say I would like the end point and 
uh, end point and midpoint like this I click on them like this and if you go like this uh, let's use any command like this you can see the end point midpoint and the beginning point or the two end points of the line and the mid so you can click on it so we have now the center of the uh, line itself like this you can also uh, use a line like this and uh, let's go here to the snapping tools we can do another thing object snap settings and select all like this and okay okay so you have now the center of that circle like this you can see as you can see here it gives us the uh, midpoint of this or the center of this graph so it is sometimes happened due to the bugs inside the program so if you have a circle like this you can see if i would like line you can see it doesn't show if i go down here like this it it appears okay so it happens due to the uh, error inside the uh, program itself okay you can see gives us here it doesn't show now it shows okay so it happens due to error inside the pro however the object snap this one is very helpful in uh, drawing several uh, points now okay now let's lead this delete all of this and let's get back to our rectangle so again we forgot about circle c enter and we would like three points i would like a circle that pass through this point and this point and this one so you have a circle that pass through this and this and this that's what we call three three points now if you would like a circle that passes through two points so what i'm going to do is that i will draw a line uh, L and enter like this okay like this okay and skip and if I would like a circle C enter that passes through these two points so I will say 2p which is two points like this and select first point and second point so we have a circle that pass through through two uh, points so the whole idea is to of these two three points and two points now the last one 10 10 radius so uh, it means 10 is an abbreviation for tangent tangent and radius so we have to uh, we would like two lines at which the circuit will uh, these two lines will be tangent to this circle with a certain radius now let's see this to understand the idea so let's say we have a line like this skip and another line like this like this okay and skip okay so we have these two lines i would like a circle which will be drawing here and these two lines will be tangent to it so what i'm going to do is type c enter circle then tan tan radius specify the first tangent of the circle so that is the first tangent. this line will be tangent to the circuit you can see selected the first one specify point on object for second tangent so this one is the tangent of our circuit okay so we have this line and this line now the last requirement is radius of circle uh, radius of circle so um radius will be let's say i would like a circle with um two meters okay or five meters and enter like this you can see we have a circle with a five meter radius and these two lines are tangent to it okay so we have we learned in this lesson about the different uh, commands regarding the circle and we'll learn it also about the snap tool remember you can turn it off by clicking like this and you can turn it back on by f3 like this okay f3 on the keyboard okay